Almost a week after the hit and run, police did arrest Todd Archibald. He was booked into jail yesterday afternoon and the charges against him were the focus at this courthouse today. Courtroom B is where Todd Archibald was scheduled to make his first appearance. Mr. Archibald has a refusal today. But the public defender said Archibald refused to be in court today. He's in jail on charges of murder and hit and run death after what happened outside of Kirkland RV. According to this probable cause document, Archibald was allegedly driving on Highway 99 on December 3rd when he made a U-turn and purposely struck Glenn Starks from behind. Starks, who was shoveling snow at the time, was vaulted into the air and did not survive. The state patrol says Archibald took off running. The probable cause document states that there was a history between the two men. Starks, who worked at Kirkland RV, and Archibald, who worked nearby for a different RV business, had been in an argument on November 23rd. Archibald was allegedly spit at and punched in the face. A week and a half later, the deadly hit and run happened. Investigators say they used surveillance video and other evidence to identify and arrest Archibald. And today, his bail was set high. The state is asking for the court to assign bail amount of $1 million without prejudice. In court, the case was moved to Monday's calendar. Archibald is expected to appear before the judge at 1 o'clock. In Everett, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.